Hey guys, Mike from A1. I just want to do a quick tutorial on why we have to drill holes in your crankshaft to balance it. Let's start with this four and five ace Screaming Eagle, really nice billet crankshaft made by Jim's originally for Screaming Eagle. It's an older uh, stroker model, but you see we had to drill holes to balance it. Why do we have to make this end of your crankshaft lighter or this end heavier? Let's get into the basics. This is the counterweight. See this thicker area? That is to counter the weight of all your reciprocating mass. The pistons, the rods, the pin, the plugs, all that weight. This is the counterweight. So when we start adding more weight with thicker pins, solid steel press plugs instead of little tin ones, heavier rods, H-beam rods, which are stronger and heavier, Never mind our pistons, like a stock piston here. We go to big bore, 124. You can see the web difference. The width of the wrist pin is better, wider. These things are just skeletonized. These are just beautiful CP pistons. All that adds up to sometimes three, 400 grams extra, which this doesn't have enough weight to counteract it. So you get a lot of vibration in your motor. So we put it in our balancer machine. We spin it over here. Tells us where to drill and how deep to drill it. And we end up taking material off of this end to counteract the weight of the heavier, better built products from the factory. That is why we have to balance your crankshaft when you go to big bore, it's a great idea. Balance it, make it perfect. This crank came out to 1.92 grams. We try to shoot for under two. This is 1.92, that's why it's a green in the green. So on a 1,500 gram weight, that's 0.999. It doesn't make any power. It's just better on the bearings, runs smoother, and lasts a lot longer. Just a simple explanation of why we drill holes in your crankshaft.